Hello everybody, today is May 19 and today's prayer journal title is The Past 30 Years and Me. The Bible verse that we're going to read today is Romans chapter 16 verse 20. Let's read it all together. God of peace will soon cross Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. What is the most important thing that the Bible talks about in the Old Testament and the New Testament? Surely it is about Christ. The Bible was written so we can know and understand what is God's covenant. In the Old Testament was Messiah that will come, and the New Testament is Messiah that came to this earth, and this is Jesus and he fulfilled the work of Christ. Why he needed to come and fulfill the works of Christ? Because we have these fundamental problems we call spiritual problems that mankind cannot solve. It's not visible to our eyes. It's not, uh, you cannot solve this with uh, physical things either. Neither with success, neither with money, without any efforts of our life. That's why God Himself came to this earth, which is His Son, Jesus, and died on the cross because He needs to complete and fulfill what He promised, which is the Christ. That's why we need to know what answers we have received through Christ and through this promise. A person within the absolute covenant is the secret missionary. Satan will only kneel down in front of Christ. He will not kneel down in front of our success, our money, or physical things. But why Satan kneeling down is so important and why it's so needed is because Satan is bringing all this destruction, calamities, and curses to this earth. We think that mankind is destroying this earth, but that's not true. Satan has put the frames, cultures, and also the disasters, and because mankind is controlled and also captive by Satan, that's why this earth is getting more and more in a destruction, in curses, and we know that there's no hope. That's why many people are trying to do a lot of things to get out from this, but they are trapped in these fundamental problems. But we know that in the Bible, the early church and the seven remnants were not just in that captivity or slavery or colonization. They held on to the covenant. They waited to that promise to be fulfilled, which is the filling and the work of the Holy Spirit. And what happened is God Himself worked in that field. So a person who stands in the line of evangelism is the field missionary. What, it, what does that mean being the missionary? It's someone that possesses the gospel and will relay and convey the correct gospel to the people so they can receive life inside the gospel, inside this eternal life. So God has sent you in the line of evangelism. So you are the field of missionary who relays the gospel of Christ. And when you start praying for the people that you have in your heart, in your mind, your family, and your friends, God start recognizing that you are, having, you are putting all your interests in this gospel movement. So if your heart is that, you think God is not going to listen? He's going to listen, but in His time, in His schedule, He will fulfill His evangelism. Because evangelism is not done by us, but it's done by God Himself through the Holy Spirit. Because in the Bible says that without the Holy Spirit, it's impossible to say that Jesus is Lord. And the Holy Spirit is the one that gives this grace so we can be saved.
So in other words, God Himself. So that's what we call triune God. So a person who stands in the light of light will be the commemorative missionary. In other words, we will not be recognized by some things that we did with our own efforts. But we were and we will proclaim and glorify the name of God, which is Christ Himself, who has fulfilled everything in our life. So that's the most important thing, being a witness. If we forget about this, when we succeed, when we have good things, we, we focus everything to ourselves. And that shouldn't be like that, right? We should focus everything to we can glorify and give all the glory to God. So that's why today, we need to understand that only through God's work, the forces of darkness will kneel down. What are the forces of darkness then? It's the things that doesn't let you pray. The things that doesn't let you concentrate in the Word. The things that you feel like God is not working in your life. In other words, unbelief. The forces of darkness will always try to deceive you through your environment, through your situations, through everything that's going around you. So let's not be deceived and hold on and let's hold on to the covenant. It's not by our own strength. That's why we need to hold on to His covenant. I hope that today you receive strength and hold on to the covenant and never forget that God is working every day in our life. It's impossible that God is just sleeping, lazy, and He doesn't want to abandon you. No, He does not abandon His children. So have you received grace and strength throughout the day, holding on to the Word. Let's pray. Dear God, may I enter in the journey of this covenant. And let us realize that Satan will only kneel down in front of this gospel. Not with other things, with our success, with our own benefits or our thanks, but only through the gospel of Christ. Let us not be astray from this gospel. Let us keep always focused in only gospel, only Christ, only kingdom of God, and only by the filling and the working of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.